ladies and gentlemen. Now, I've had a lot of requests on the channel for a gear building video where kind of start to finish, we build up a character's equipment and sort out all the roles you are engraving and kind of go through the entire process. So yeah, I thought it'd be really good to do it on the free to play account today because I'm looking to upgrade my Deanne because I really want to use tank Deanne in elite PvP because like queuing into PvP so far on the free to play man is like 90% people running the one Escanor, Goddess Liz, and also Green Gotha. And I know from my whale account, the best counter to that is like Tank Dian, Sariel, Green Gotha, and also the one Escanor backline. And I don't have a UR set sorted for Dian, and like four health and two defense is really, really good. So I'm going to walk you through the entire process today, and we're also going to talk about some of the... Um, uh, the new tools and features that were made available on Global this week with the Mastery Rolling and just show you guys how that stuff works because I know some people are a little bit confused as well. So the first things before you start rolling and upgrading gear is you need to make sure that the base stats on everything you're happy with. Now I suggest gear requires so much investment to fully max out. You only want to upgrade stuff that is bare minimum 90% of the base stats. You can see here this bracelet is perfect there. Uh, the belt is is pretty good almost perfect uh, i think the necklace is perfect the rune is pretty good it's the best i've got on the um uh, free to play we do have perfect earrings on the base as well and the ring is like almost perfect man it's one off so yeah as far as gear sets go this is a really really strong base that we've got here the next thing we want to do because some of this stuff isn't five star upgraded yet is just awaken it uh, five star and also rank five and again all of these materials in today's video i've literally farmed over the last like three and a bit months on the free to play account and i haven't really built that many gear sets uh since the release of goddess Liz because I already had her set ready to go um, so yeah it's literally been like I think Esterosa and like two additional health pieces for um uh, Escanor recently and also some Gotha stuff as well but we have a lot of stuff that we've saved up uh, and also we've been pulling on the equipment draw rate up as well so yeah we got a lot of anvils and also a decent stack of hammers um, so yeah now that we've got everything upgraded I think we want to start with the health pieces those are always the most important for combat class generally speaking so I'm going to get everything initially to 2% so we've already got some like half decent rolls on those two ones so we're going to uncheck them and then the other three we want to convert to health here and then keep re-rolling until 2% or higher and then yeah hopefully we can get a little bit lucky again with the mass re-rolling now um you're very much at the mercy of RNG. However, 2.1% is alright. It's not a bad start, but I don't like to use hammers on anything, generally speaking, that's kind of like, uh, what is it, 2.3% or below. But again, we just want to have like nice base rolls on everything. Make sure we don't get like too shafted, generally speaking, before we go for those higher rolls. Because, you know, you don't want to go into, like, one piece of equipment, too ambitious, blow, like, way too many anvils, and then just end up broke. Especially if you are, uh, you know, free to play and you just can't keep on swiping for those anvil bundles there. So, yeah, that's a 2-6. That one's pretty good. The two ones are not too bad. They'll do for now, though. And let's go over to the rune here. So, let's, uh, what is it? Get the health up to 2% here. Again, bare minimum, I want 2% on absolutely everything. But anything, uh, 2.4... Sorry, 2.3 or below, I'm going to re-roll uh, once I've re-rolled kind of decent stats on, like, every single piece of gear. Because, again, we need to get around the uh, the entire equipment here. We do have, like, a fair bit more anvils than I um I usually do on the free-to-play. I think this is by far the most anvils that I've ever had. But also, we still have yet to get on top of anvil farming on the free-to-play. <laughs> so, yeah, I need to get around to that at some point, man. But the Anvil Dungeon is such a godsend for Anvils. And uh, nowadays, again, equipment draw, especially rate up, is the, the way to get hammers, man. That's the way to get the uh, the stuff that's really going to perfect your gear there. But look at that. We got three regenerals and one recovery. Oh my god, dude. This is dire, man. This is really dire. Again, mastery rolling is a lot faster, but it also uh, can be a little bit depressing sometimes. Uh, is that going to be a good health roll? Uh, it's alright, a little bit better. It'll do for the base. The 2.9 was really, really nice. 2.6, very happily take that as well. Just need to uh, re-roll the, um, uh, the middle one now to something health and a bit more exciting, hopefully. 
Right, that should be okay. So two one there. You can also see in the background if you're using blue stacks, um, <laughs> the percentage. It's a little bit hard to make out there, uh, but you can see it. Right, so this is this is just dire man. We got no good rolls on this. So let's get all the attack stuff up to two percent here. So the attack stuff and the health stuff are always the most important when it comes to uh, general gear sets. Again, there are some characters that. Um, you know, go for like crit damage or pierce in comparison to uh, attack for this slot. But to be fair, man, I think really all the top meta characters at the moment go for attack for the most part. Like Sario, you can have a little bit of crit damage on Sario, maybe the one as well. But uh, attack is what also gives you combat class. And combat class is incredibly important, especially when we're in a... Um, uh, PvP meta, uh, if you're very focused on that, that is uh, heavily reliant on going first or going second and kind of having a plan. And that's uh, what I'm looking forward to on the free-to-play as well, is because if you go second and you've got evasion food and tank the end, you've got some very trolly strategies for dealing with glue eater teams. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to do some um, uh, more geared PvP on the free-to-play account, man. Should be fun. Right. And what else do we have there? 2.5? So yeah, we actually had a really strong finish on that, man. You know, we got three rolls we're happy with. Still need to re-roll these two at some point as well. But let's now move over to the ring here. And we got no good base rolls. So let's flick over to attack. I think actually if we got pierce, we can just go left there. Set it all to um, attack. And then I'll go through and um, uh, change everything to two minimum. Let's go for that. Again, depending on the amount of anvils that you have, you might want to do them individually. But, gosh, anvils are one of those things that can burn through very, very quickly, man. But nowadays, in comparison to when Global launched, man, dude, when Global launched, it was so difficult to get anvils. But nowadays, they are significantly more available than they used to be. I was just trying to think as well. Actually, one gear set that I have built in the last couple of months as well is Sariel's gear set, man. He's got a pretty nice gear set. But yeah, I've built uh, a couple more sets than I remembered at the start of the video. But yeah, the Anvil games have been really, really nice. And we've also had like a lot of bonus Anvils in various events. Not to mention the Hawk side event at the moment is pretty damn good for Anvils, man. As long as you're doing it right. And if you didn't check out the tip video, you can set it to... Um, uh, what is it, your play speed to low if you're having trouble landing on the spinner? So yeah, a little bit of a tip if you did miss that video for the Hawks Treasure Hunt event there. So yeah, we got two really good rolls. The 2.8, 2.7, very nice. The 2%, 2.1 need to be re-rolled still. And then, um... Yeah, this one is uh, getting a lot of crit chance rolls here. Can we get a tank, man? Something good here? Something that's gonna stay, please? Have a look. 2% crit chance. I can see it like popping up here very vaguely. Okay, this is attack. It might be a bit too low. Yeah, I thought it was going to be. I need uh, this to pop up like 12% here. Okay, that's going to be a really good roll. Nice. 2-9, man. Okay, so we got like two more that need to be re-rolled there. Especially on Tank Deanne. I do need to sort out the defense pieces to like a half decent level. So yeah, sometimes on um, certain gear sets, if I'm only going to use them for PvE and not get too sweaty in PvP, uh, especially on the free-to-play, I just won't really build out it too much. But here, I think we've got to go for minimum 2% on everything. But the defense ones, as long as it's above 2%, man, I'm pretty happy. And even on the whale account, dude, I hate using hammers on defense pieces. Because defense pieces are by far... Okay, that was really lucky, man. That worked out very, very well. Okay, this this necklace is rolling really, really nicely. Last defense roll? Perfect, dude. I'm happy with that. Like, that'll, that'll do for a while. We can re-roll the 2% at some point if we want to. Uh, but again, got to be very careful with our resources here. But I just need to sort out my Anvil farming dungeon team on the free-to-play, man, to get a, um, a few more going on. Let's upgrade 2% there. And let's go for this as well. Right, perfect. Okay, are we going to get one good defense roll? Oh, we got none, bro. That was a little bit tragic, mate. Okay, we got a 1.7 there, I can see already. I'm having a look left-hand side. Um, I think we're getting something good here. Oh, that was really good, dude. Okay, 2.9 out of 2.7, that's perfect. Right, let's have a look. Come on, mate. Three more slots. Let's get some banging defense rolls. 
We've had some pretty good luck so far on the defense ones. Crit resistance, resistance there. Okay, 2A. Um, you will see, like, building everything as well. I think we've consumed about 700 and a bit anvils so far. To sort out, like, an entire gear set, on average, it is about 1,000 to 2,000 anvils, depending on your luck. Can sometimes be more if you get very unlucky, though. I've had certain gear sets that I've... um. Uh, built out on the whale account that have easily been like three to four K anvils, man. Again, sometimes, yeah, luck is not on your side. Uh, but now we need to go back to the belt. So we've rolled everything, man. We got decent like stats on everything on the base, but it's not like terribly impressive at the moment in a lot of scenarios. I think we got quite lucky on the defense pieces. We actually got our highest luck rolling this set on the defense pieces here. So I'm happy with the bottom two, but I want to upgrade these to at least like um two four or higher so the health pieces are the most important for dm for cc here and also for um uh, general survivability so this is where it can get a lot more expensive on anvils again searching for those higher rolls but the thing is anvils are still significantly more common in comparison to hammers and uh, sometimes if you were to upgrade, for example, a 2% roll, you could use the hammer and it goes to 2.1%. And that is not what you want to do, man. Sometimes you can get super lucky and it'll just instantly shoot up to 2.7%. Um, but yeah, you just want to make sure that you've got like a, a 2.4 or above is like the general rule for using hammers. Uh, sometimes on my whale account, just because I need to hammer so much stuff, I, I might go like 2.6, 2.7 on the... Um, uh, the free-to-play, it's 2.4 or above. So here, I'm happy to use some hammers to kind of dust this up a little bit more. So hopefully, if we're lucky here, this goes up to 2.7. Uh, so yeah, perfect, man. 2.4, straight to 2.7. A lot of the time, using hammers on a 2.4, it will instantly go to 2.7. But sometimes, it does go to 2.5. So that does suck a little bit there. Uh, is this going to 2.7 as well? Perfect. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the rolls as well on the rune here. So there's three that I need to sort out. So we're going to set this to um, uh, 2, 3 or higher here. Okay, perfect. So yeah, we just need to get a little bit a little bit lucky here, man. Actually, I should have gone 2, 4 or higher. 2, 3 or higher is all right. I guess we can manually change one of them. We're looking for like a 2, 4, man. Or oh, 2, 9. That's perfect, dude. A 2, 9 or like a 2, 2, 7, 2, 8, 2, 9. Or a three, those are all like massive jackpot rolls. The three is always what you want, but two nine like is amazing as well. But yeah, we got two two nines and a two six on this. Two three, mm. one could be a little bit higher, man. I think we'll revisit that one in a bit, depending on the amount of anvils that we have left at the end. <laughs> So yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. But I do want to make this set for Deanne really good as well, because again, having uh, some decent survivability in combat class is uh, always very useful against the one Eskinol. Okay, that is not going up much at all. And again, Deanne's set, uh, I did mention this, I believe, at the start of the video, but it's not like a first set to work on. This is just an example of like generally how I would go about building up any set, man, but 3% roll, that's absolutely fantastic there. So, uh, yeah, that's looking good. Aside from the 2-3, I think I'm getting the 2-3 a little bit higher, but I want to roll up some of the weaker attack ones first here. So, let's get rid of these three, and we're going to get these uh, attack to, um, I think, 2-3 or higher. Oh, gosh, has one of them gone up a little bit? Yeah, 2-2 two, two and 2-3 two, there, man, gosh. The attack stuff it isn't as important on Deanne, so I'm not, like, mega fussed about maxing it out. The health stuff is the, the thing I'm most concerned about here. Again, on the free-to-play account, I've really got to spread my resources out across uh, many different gear sets that I'm trying to build up. So, yeah, 2-3 on attack. I, I can live with a 2-3 on attack. I'm not too sure I'll hammer it for a while, though. I need to get on top of my anvil farming before we can upgrade it a bit more. But to be fair, we're not too far off finishing off this gear set now. Just need a slightly better attack roll here, man. Something a little bit more spicy. Here we get some crit chance here. And next up, we got some more crit chance. <laughs> Again, I'm just looking over this side to uh, see my rolls ahead of time. So there's going to be some pierce rate. 
And some more pierce rate, dude. Come on, big attack roll. Okay, that's an attack roll. It's not very big, though. Kind of looking for... What do I need? I need, like, a 12.7 to pop up here or something like that. Yeah, 12.7 minimum. Again, sometimes, dude, searching for a high roll, you can literally, like, sit here and watch, like, 500 anvils burn. Okay, this is really good, though. That's a 2.6. Perfect. So, yeah, I'm happy with that bracelet for now, man. That'll do. Again, Tank Dian's main focus is to not deal damage, and we can get a bit more over this side. So, we're going to put this to 2-3 uh, or higher, and put this to 2-3 um, uh, or higher here. So, we get both of these re-rolling, and then I want to go back and re-roll the rune, and then I think I'm satisfied with, like, everything on the initial base set. I might use some hammers on some of the health pieces as well. But, yeah, we just need to get... A little bit lucky here. We should get one attack, one. Ah, it's not big enough. Okay, I don't think this is going to be big enough either. Yeah, I need my attack to go over like, um, what is it? It's about 10, 10.07 on the left-hand side. It might be quite difficult to see on video, but I can just about see it on my screen. So yeah, waiting for those glorious 2-3 rolls. Okay, 12%. Oh, dude, they're two mid-rolls there. Yeah. Not so gassed to see that. But again, it depends on your, you know, what you're aiming for and your level of satisfaction when it comes to building gear sets. If it's an earlier gear set, again, anything above 2%, really, really decent. But kind of my well account is looking to break into the top bracket of, uh, sorry, my free-to-play account is looking to break into the, um, uh, the top bracket of geared PvP. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to fight some whale accounts, man. So I've gotta, gotta hold myself to a pretty decent standard when looking for the roll set. Okay, that one's really, really good. 2-9 is fantastic there. We just need one more really good attack roll. If we get a perfect one, it actually takes us to 14-3, I think, because we're 11-3 at the moment. So, yeah, we just want to see, um, uh, the attack go above 14, man. That'd be perfect. Come on, we got 400 anvils left. Okay, this isn't going to be quite enough. Yeah, 1-1, one, one, that's nowhere near close, is it? This takes us to 12-7, so that's rubbish still. And 2-8 on the pierce rate. Okay, we got a weak crit damage roll here. Another crit damage roll. So much fun. Another pierce rate roll. Um, Come on, man. We drew an attack one. Let's get a big one. That was a pretty big pierce roll. Mid pierce roll. <laughs> oh, some more crit chance here, dude. We all know the feeling of just looking at constant losses on this. Okay, this might be alright. Nah, it's not. I thought I saw like a 13-7, but it was only 12-7 there. Oh, gosh. Come on, man. We've got quite a few attack rolls uh, on this slot. 13A? Okay, that's good enough, man. That's good enough. So, yeah, the ring now is 13A. Uh, the bracelet is 13%. Again, I've got quite a few additional upgrades I could potentially get there. But one thing I want to um, uh, focus on re-rolling now is just this 2-3 on the rune. Get this one a little bit higher here. Because if I can get it to 2-4 or above, then I can hammer it. And also hammer the 2-6 as well. So, you know, it might take a little bit of luck. But we just need one good roll, man. One good roll. And then we can engrave this gear. So that's uh, not so much of a great roll there. But yeah, I advise, like, only ever trying to re-roll any substat when you have, like, absolute bare minimum 100 anvils. But uh, at least, like... If you want to be safe, man, at least like 501k saved up before you start re-rolling stuff, especially on a set that you're actually um, uh, currently using at the moment. But yeah, we got 2-4 there. It's good enough. Um, again, we didn't get super lucky on the upgrade, so it only goes to 2-5. But lucky this goes to 2-8. Now it's number 2-6, bro. So yeah, again, Anvil sometimes, dude, they can shoot up loads, but sometimes as well... They'll only go up by 0.1. We got 0.2 upgrade there, so that certainly wasn't too bad. Let's have a look over this side, see where we're at. So we can go for this 2.6 here. I think that gets us 2.8. Perfect. And we'll go for this as well. On the additional hammers. And then I'm going to upgrade the 2.7. Leaves us to a 2.9 there. The two uh the two eights generally only give you all super success there, dude. We got full 3%. That's wonderful. 
And then, um, I think I'll use the last hammer on this uh, one, and that brings us to a 2-9 there. So yeah, you can see, dude, we got a massive, massive stats increase. Like, everything's looking pretty good so far. I think considering Deanne's going to be tanking a fair bit, dude, I might give her, like, a, um absolute full set here because the defense pieces usually the defense pieces man i don't often go for but deanne i'm a bit tempted to i think i'll do the necklace maybe not the earrings though so let's uh find the associated um stuff so we got the belt here that's a fighter deanne perfect that's the one we just rolled let's make sure we engrave to deanne we've already got her sorted perfect so let's go for it and engraving stones is really just a case of keeping on top of um uh, training cave and like various side events that pop up in order to get like a really good stack of them But I've I've always been a bit of a hoarder when it comes to my engraving stones there perfect. That's number two That's the neck done. We got the belt done. Let's go for the bracelet now. And that's all left hand side done so that is um Yeah, all that side and I think we'll go for the ring I'm kind of tempted to go for like the other defense piece as well. Oh, I I think I think I'll go for it at some point in the future, man. Like I'm not gonna rush into. It. I'm gonna test her out with this gear, see how she feels on there with the free to play account. I've also only got a, got a one six as well. Not that it matters too much because sorry, I was gonna be doing all of the um uh, the heavy lifting, and then finally we did have a defense rune as well. So yeah, that's all engraved to Deanne. Perfect. Right, so now if we go back to Deanne, we've sought out five, five pieces of UR engraved equipment. So whenever this is applied to any Deanne now, we get the stat bonuses. So yeah, that's pretty much it for how I build up sets on characters. But also one thing that you can do since the new update is like mass re-roll base stats. However, this is very, very bad to do on like pretty much everything. But you should never, uh, especially for like a main set of gear that you're using, attempt to re-roll either the belt or rune. Because there's so much variance in what you can get from the actual base that, yeah, you could really screw yourself over. Uh, we know some whales in Zenith, man, that have literally spent like 5k to um, uh, 10k anvils trying to get like a 5.2k perfect roll on a belt on like a set that was like near perfect, man. So, yeah, never re roll um, a set that you're currently using on the belt or rune, or it's just going to completely screw it over like 99% of the time. And also, generally speaking, to get like good initial base rolls on gear, it's just a case of like farming gear as much as you possibly can on auto and also, um, uh, pulling that gear from the equipment drawer and making sure you save and lock anything uh, that, you know, is very, very close to perfect as well. So that's how I build up my gear stash on the free-to-play. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to build up an equipment set from start to finish. All of the fun re-rolling action there. Uh, but yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Take care and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.